Welcome to this Ask Paul session. 115. Thank you, Father, for this moment. Speak with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's enter the moment of our questions and answers. Let's ask Pastor Jacques to read for us. Shalom shalom spiritual father na timu yose ya aske Paul imana ya mahoro iduhane umugisha nari mfite ikibazo uh, kiri mu gitabo cha Marko igice cha 11 umurongo wa 13 kuki Yesu yavumye uri ya mutini kandi bibilia itubwira uh, ko kitari gihe cyo kwera ku mitine murakoze Shalom shalom spiritual father and the team of aske Paul may the peace of God Bless all of us. I have a question regarding Mark 11, 13. Jesus cursed the olive tree and the Bible told us it was not the season to bear its fruit. Thank you. Thank you so much. As uh, as you said, let's read the scripture here, Mark eleven thirteen. Mark eleven thirteen. Bibiria Iravuga ngo Ngwareba kure abo Nyamara ugezeho tiagera icabo nakeretse ibibabi kuko kitari giye cyo kwera ku mitini arahubwira ati 14 umuntu nakarye ku mbuto zawe iteka ryose abigishwa be barabyumva Mark 11:13 says and seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it when he came to it he found nothing but leaves for it was not the season for the for fig Verse 14, in response, Jesus said, Let no one eat fruit from you ever again. Eh, ikikiwazo chane chane, uravuwa ngu kuchi yesu ya kifu mnyekandi kitari gecho kwera kumitine. The, this situation you ask, why did Jesus curse this uh, fig tree and it was not the time to have a fruit on eh, it? Muzindi aske poru naso bijikiwazo, alikore kanawe nkiku subize. And the other sessions I have answered this question, but let me answer you as well. Uh, normally a fig tree there were some that will fruit bear fruit earlier season the other that will be bear fruit on the, the right season in spring time they will have a fruit uh, so this fig tree is that was uh, among the season of the season of fig tree that mentioned the earlier season, the earlier fruit. Kuko warufita mababi. Because it had leaves. Amababi menshi. It has many leaves. Igihe imitini ya giragayo mababi menshi, mbereyo kwera kwayo, bizari wimenyeto, igaragaza ko ifite imbuto yeze mbere. So when the fig tree has many leaves to it, it mentioned that it has a fruit to it. Kuko tuwa wibonye aha kumunongwa chuminakabi nagatatu. As we saw here on verse 13. Ngo abo numutini uri huibibabi. And he saw a fig tree having leaves. Iyindi mitini igihe ikigihe yari taragira mababi menshi. Which means the other fig tree was not having many leaves as this one. Ariko wo wagiza yo mababi mbere ndi wafundura ngugire imbuto zifunduye cyangwa se ngo utange nibitumbwe by'umutini. So this fig tree had a leaves which means that if you had leaves compared to what the this tree had it means that it has a fruit but this one it didn't have any fruit. Donke waruwo guhenda abantu so it was uh, confusing people. To have that many leaves on that season. It goes with having fruit on that moment. It's like a, a girl. There is a, a girl who grow taller. But they don't uh, 
pu- they don't go puberty earlier age uh, but they have become tall ah ukabona umukobwa yatangiye gupfundura amabere yakirikare kandi akiri umwana muto and you see someone who goes into puberty when they are still young ariko akaba bandi bakuzi giyagara ntayo bafite but other they go tall but they don't Mature exactly. the exactly that's how this figure was. It shows the sign that it has matured, but it was not a mature. That's why Jesus cursed this. But what was behind this? This Jesus was telling or communicated to Israelites. They show that they have a God. That's the fig tree that has leaves. But they never had a fruit of God. They will show that they are religious people. But they didn't have a character of God. This is what Jesus was trying to communicate here. He took an example as this fig tree. He gave an impression that it has mature but it's not there's no fruit to it niko yavuze no muri za Isaiah za Hosea na handi eh bibiri igende ivuga ngo ngo bahamya baramya imana kukanwa ngo ari ku mitima yabiri kure y'Imana that's how jesus even mentioned that in Isaiah mu abahanuzi muri Isaiah bavuga the prophet mentioned that in the book of Isaiah and Hosea that they just confess with their own mouth but they not genuinely in their hearts nicho nubwo busobanura nako that's the meaning of this scripture here mm-hmm. shalom apostle iyo umuntu ahora sengera umwuka wo gusambana bigahora bigaruka ndetse uri no mu bihe by'amasengesho ubwo umuntu yabigenza gute tibizibira imigisha mu dusengere rwose Shalom apostle if always someone pray person always pray to cast out the spirit of fornication and it to, uh, to always coming back even when he, someone is a, in a period of a prayer uh, what can someone do does this hinder a blessing pray for us okay eh iki chi iki kibazo bajije this question you ask ijya muri ya mbere umuntu nkuye abakeneye deliverance uh persons like this they need a deliverance si biye bya masengesho it's not a period of a prayer bihagarika ingeso that stop your uh, bad habit ni 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 deliverance it's a deliverance na discipline and self discipline kwiye meza to commit yourself to have a self discipline and to be delivered to say that you're going into prayer that's where you kill your bad habit no it's not that way. so the bad habit is killed by the cross to be patient discipline self discipline and the deliverance and the deliverance urumva nyine iyo uri mu masengesho if you are in a period of prayer ukakomeza ubaswe and you are possessed satana bona ukwa kurega and satan will have a way to go to uh, accuse you dero afite icyashingira kugira ngo akurege amasengesho yawe atagera kuma and he has a supporting argument that way your prayer doesn't get to god bibilia iravuga uretse n'ucacyo busambanye iravuga ngo mugiye cy'amasengesho ngo umugore n'umugabo ngo bumvikane ngo kugira ngo amasengesho yabo atagira inkomyi imbere y'Imana donc ni no go create environment nziza gushiraho navuga ikirere kiza gituma satana atabona uko barega so you have to create a great environment around you surrounding you that way satan doesn't have a way to go accuse you to god amen amen eh na bibilia irabitubwira ngo koko kwimana si kugufi ngo ari ku ibyaha byanyu nibyo byatumye kudakora even the bible told us that the hand of god is not short but your bad habit uh hinder to happen. Yo hari migisha nyine ishobora kuzibirwa mugane wawe nko kuzibirwa imigisha ishobora guhagarara kuko satani afite fact afite impamvu yo kureka. And yes uh, there is a blessing that can be hindered from this because uh, Satan has a, a supporting argument to present to God. Ariko hari yindi mana iguha bidatewe nuko uri umukiranutsi bidatewe nuko uri gitangaza bitewe gusa n'urukundo rwayo. And there's other blessing that 
God gave you not because you you are righteous but because of the, his love towards you because the bible says he bring rains to good and evil sons to good and evil because of the love of God when rain comes he doesn't hinder to do not rain this place or to do not to rain in this place when it's rain it rains to the witchcraft to the righteous to the every, every person you can think of it's to be aware and it's to be aware of your flesh or your bad habit and then you kill that by the spirit. Let's go to ne next question. Shalom Father Natimu Mufata Nije Ndaba Suhuja Mwizina Rya Yesu Ikibazo Chanje Nabazag Father Ese um ese muri iki gihe ituro ryo kwihumanura riracari ngombwa ese niba ari ngombwa rihabwa nde umushumba cyange urishira mu giseke ugasenga ukizera ko uhumanutse urugero ushobora kuba mu buzima bwawe ubaho ntakiza ubona wabaza amakuru ukamenya ko iwanyu mama wawe yakujanye mu bapfumu agutwite kandi no mujyango kwa papa wawe papa ubyara papa wawe nawe yari umupfumu ese nkubwo mwangira namaki ese nkeneye gutanga iryo turo ese nari hande changa nari shirahe murakoze imana iba umugisha ndabakunda shalom shalom father and the team i greet you in the name of jesus my question nowadays the undefiled offering is it still valid if it is if it's still applicable to whom we're supposed to offer this offering a pastor or offering baskets yes offering of purifications uh thank you and uh <coughs> should we offer to a pastor or offering basket and pray and have faith that you have been purified for example it can be possible if in someone's life you don't see good things once you seek the re once you seek the reason why you will be told that your mother had offered you have offered you uh to the witchcraft while she was pregnant also the father side they practice witchcraft in this situation what advice you can advise me should i offer an offering or to whom it should be given thank you there's no purification offering that is needed because Jesus has offered that. You all need deliverance. You need a servant of God who doesn't need money, who just need to share the story of you and to pray over you. What you can do in this situation? You go and share your background to him. And then pray over you. And he will separate you from your biological family in a spiritual way, uh, the prayer to you. He doesn't take you from your biological family. Eh, eh, the father so he will pray over you and then from a spiritual side he will cut your umbilical cord in a in a spiritual way so that when the devil attacks you he doesn't find a way to connect you that's how it goes naho hari igihe imana ishora kumubwira there's a, a moment God can told him as a, the person praying over what to do, where to anoint yourself, how you will pray, what you will do. Even God told him 
eh ushake amafaranga no gukuya ture mu rusengero ariko izo ni instructions zitangwa numwuka wera si situro situro cyo kuvuga ngo ngo aya amafaranga ari humbohoka oya izo ni instructions z'umwuka kandi nazo ndi shobora kuza nkuko zitaza imana ishobora kukubohora gutyo utarenera guca muri ibyo ni juste bibira mutse binabayeho so sometimes uh, the spirits can give you an instruction go ahead and offer this money but not to him he can give you an instruction based on what the spirit is telling him eh nuko bimeze that's how it is donc wowe you who can need deliverance you need the deliverance during ubwiri cyuzako let me tell you what to do fata mavuta take oil uzayasige ku mukondo wa put anoint yourself on a witandukanye ni wanyu nabapfumu nabakibose family yose uvuge ngo ngindu wa Yesu and then uh, uh, separate yourself from that anointing from your witchcraft family or the witch uh, the family that practices the witchcraft and then you say i separate myself from this family numarusenge and the pray hanyuma uzare umukozi w'Imana uzisizwa mafuta akusenge and then go to a servant of god who's anointed and to pray over you ariko nabyo singo mbuta mubonye even though it's not necessary to go see the servant of God and then we'll pray over you. In Jesus name. Let that abound from your family. We cast it out from now. Be healed. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and take an anointing oil and then put yourself on a belly and then separate yourself. Spiritual way. And the that family. And then anoint your forehead. That you have have been sanctified to God. In other words, you have given yourself to God. And then afterward, send us a message, God will do good to you. So the Spirit Once you have been delivered, take offering and then offer that to the church you go to and then you should be good. And if you don't have the offering, it's not a problem. Imani bano mutima wawe irarebe mutima wawe God is looking up to your heart Amen Amen Kindi Shalom papa wansobanurira icanditswe kiri mu Baroma igice ca cenda umurongo wa 10 kugeza kuri 13 Shalom papa would you please explain to me Roman 9:10 to 13 Kuki utacanditse Ni byiza ngo kitwandikire ducunguze uburyo umwe Uzu cyandika ukivuge nurangiza ucyandike kuko arabata birimo bakibona kandi nanjye umpa kandi kazi kugishakisha uh, you should have uh, write down the roman uh, the scripture you sent to us because uh, uh, you have just given to us you give me to uh, redeem the time you will have to write exactly what is it urambajije unsabye no gusoma kugira ngo umenye okay anyway reka ngusubize let's go ahead and answer you reka turewe mu baroma ikindi 10 guza ku 13 cyo bivuze Let's look at uh, Roman uh, 9 10 to 13 what it says. Ngo kandi sibyo gusangwa ahubwo narebeka ubwo yarafite inda atwitse atwitswe numwe ari we isaka soko kuruza nawe yabwiye ngo umukuru azaba umugaragu w'umuto kuko byanditswe ngo yakobo naramukunze nawe esa unaramwanze kandi yabibwiwe abana bataravuka kandi batarakora ikiza cyangwa ikibi ngo ibyo imana yagambiriye itoranya biyo bitavuye ku mirimo ahubwo bivuye kuri iyo ihamagara verse 10 says and not only this but when rebecca also had conceived by one man even by our father isaac for the children not being yet being born nor having done any good or evil that for that purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not for the work but him who calls. It was said to her, the older shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. If the poor what was Paul communicating to this scripture? In this uh, chapter 9, he was communicating how God chose Israel compared to other nations. When he was uh, to redeem the world, it was impossible for Jesus to be born into the all nations. So they had to choose one specific family Jesus to be born in. 
hari ya igice kiguye hasa akaba ricyo bakora nka kujya kwa equipe yagiye gukina murayibona iyo bagiye gukina ni yihitangira muterera batera ufaranga hejuru igice kiguye hasi kikaba ari icanyu mugatangira siko bigenda yes so it's the same situation when uh, they want to see who's starting the game they have to flip coins once they flip a coin and then it goes to tail or head the team who choose head or tail they'll be the team to start or they'll say count one num number to seven and then we'll choose one ariko ari nundu decide and then the other one who decide akaba ngo hagati ya jacques na joseph between between Jacques and Joseph okay Joseph we tangira we we'll say Joseph go ahead and start mu bundi buryo in other words kunze Joseph and i loved Joseph eh mu bundi buryo in the other words sina hisemwe bagaza i did not choose bagaza mu rurimi rw'abantu rero in our normal language baravuga ngo yanze bagaza this they will say he had bagaza ariko ntiya mwanze but truly you know he chose this to go to start again imana ari ya authority because god is in hierarchy imana ire ihita mu mukuru ireba umukuru ikareba no muto he goes to the first born to the last born cyangwa si ireba umukuru or he will look at the first born ikareba umuto and then the young ushobora guhita he can choose ushobora no kuba umukuru cyangwa ukaba muto ikavuga toke umuto niwe mpa inshingano who can be the oldest and then who will give the responsibility to the youngest it's possible that a parent, he can look into among his children you are the one responsible for this one in the other word i speaking he hate the old one and then he loved the young it's a language babe. Yaru yu undi na wara kurikira. So in a normal language it's saying that I I loved Jacob or hate Esau but it's a language not not saying that he hated them. Surwango nyarwango rw'inzigo. It's not as a hatred as we know. Oh yeah. No. Ni election uguhitamo election. It's election or select. Donc no yenugu selection. It's a selecting. Ni wewe mpisemo? I select you. Ibyo bikajana rero nicyo twita ngo ni wewe nkunze. That means uh, on our normal language say I I love this. Deba hari nkigiye mujya hantu bagashiraga hakarongo ngo abari inyuma mwese musubireyo bari abagende. Suko baba babanze. Mu byukuri ariko nuko mubari uba wuzuye cyangwa se abagomba gukora igubo nuno ukisanga wewe ugeze ku murongo. Abavuga mu rurimi rw'abantu bavuga ngo bari aya abanze yakunze bari ariko siko ndi yabanze no guhitamo You might be in a situation where you are line up to something or service and then they will make a line saying this 10 people will serve them or this number will serve them and then afterward will serve the uh, the next team doesn't mean that they chose or they love the first team and they had the second team no it's a just way to done the service nukuwa ngo yakobo na esau that which means jacob and esau icho bafaga barwa niki cyagomba gakuba what was supposed to take place bakiri munda when they were in the womb imana yari mishaka nihe yesa zavukira where jesus god was looking where was this two family where jesus would be born oh ihita mu muto then he chose the youngest okay esau za umunya mahanga naho yakobo za mu israeli esau will be a foreigner and then jacob will be israelite umwaza umu gentile the other one will be gentile umu janti other one will be gentile hayo nizina janti rega and there's another uh bitano kanye nizo batwite ko turapaga to be uh what should i say polite gent is a gentle umwe no umu gent no umu gent he is a, a, a gentleman gentleman <laughs> gentile niyo bikomoka ba gentile gentleman a gent yeah. donc no umu janti donc umwaza ba mwiza gusa Janti siko bizyo yeah. na hundi we niwe nzatoranya nza Yesu avukire muri we one will be gentle the other one will be the one whom Jesus will be born through Doke Yesu yaje mu muryango kwa Yakobo So Jesus came in the family of Jacob Ni hinyenyeri Yakobo That's say. where the star came from Na muri Esau And Esau azakura mimana Israel He came to worship the God of Israel Niyo bivuga ngo umuto azakorera umukuru That's when it says umukuru azakorera umuto the, the older will serve the younger Doke aje kureba imana y'umukuru He came to umuto ye pardon the god of the younger so ariko surwango rwo kwanga it's not the head of the head because god doesn't hate anyone yanga gusicha 
he hates only sin but he doesn't hate a sinner and at this point here there was not uh, any sin so there was no way God was supposed to thank you so much let's go to the last question mwiriwe ndabakunda cyane nagira ngo mbabaze ko abahanuzi babaye benshi batubwira ko ari imana ivuze ni gute umuntu amenya ubuhanuzi bw'ibinyoma murakoze hello i love you i have a question nowadays uh, there's many prophets they say god has said how can someone uh, discern a false prophet abahanuzi bahozeho prophet has been there abukuri na ibinyoma babaye the true one and the false one igiye cyabaye eliya the time of elijah hari magana 850 ibinyoma there was 850 false prophets eliya yarum elijah was the only one ariko icatumye abantu bemera umuhanuzi w'ukuri the only reason the people agreed to the true prophets no watumye imitima y'abantu igarukira ima it was the one who bring back the heart of people umuhanuzi w'ukuri the true prophet no tumu mutima wa ugarukira ima is the one who bring back your heart to god cyangwa no tumu mutima wawe ukomera mu ma or someone who sustain your heart to remain in god cyangwa se no tumu mutima wawe wiringira imana kuruta kwiringira abantu or someone who cause your heart to lean on God more than leaning on people now muna wanuzi wikinyoma or false prophet in other words nutu mumutima wa umwiringira it's the one who make you to believe more in him kumu trusting or to trust him icyo giye ukora cyose akaba ari wubaza everything you about to do you seek uh, ariko muhanuzi w'ukuri but a true prophet nugufasha kugira ngo icyo giye ukora cyose ubaza imana it's the one who helps you to seek god in everything you about to do eliya icyo yakoze what elijah did yatumye abantu bose bapfuka mavuga ngo uwiteka niwe ma the, he made everyone said uh, only god is our lord igiye cyane hano mu batize on the time of john baptist hari abahanuzi benshi bitaga ba eliya icyo gihe there was many people called the, uh, them elijah ariko yesu aravuga ngo yohana mu batize niwe eliya but jesus said that john baptist he is the true elijah igiye cyane hano mu batize bari ho benshi cyane there was many many false prophets bitaga aba 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 ba ba yohana mu batize called themselves john baptist nigiye cyane yesu even the time of jesus hari ho benshi bitaga ba masi they called themselves messiah ariko umuhanuzi uko but a true prophet nuwazanya abantu mugukizwa bakiha nibyaha bakabatizwa bagahura nima the one who bring people to god baptize them and then have a communion with the god yohana mubatiza that's john baptist now abandi the other prophets barya gabana amafaranga do it consume people money <laughs> babeshaga abantu do lie to people batumaga abantu babiruka inyuma do make people run after them aho kwiruka inyuma yima instead of running toward god umuhanuzi w'ukuri a true prophet atumukunda imana cyane make you love god more ariko umuhanuzi w'ikinyoma but a false prophet atuma umwita umukunda cyane we it made you you love them more ubiruka inyuma you run after them ibyo birahagije that's enough amen amen ndagira ngo mbashimire mwese mwabashye gukurikira ask paul thank you so much for everyone who has followed ask paul amahoro ya yesu abane namwe may the peace of god be with you tuzakomeza ubuta we we'll continue next time mana turagushima kubwa ask paul iyo muzi kwa banyana god we thank you for this ask paul to be with us mana ukomeza uhumura abana bawe ukomeza uba inspire uba hishurira baganiriza god and i turn the eyes of your children and speak to them explain to them what we cannot explain in Jesus name amen amen thank you so much